<laughs> yeah, my friends, how's it going? It's been a while. That's okay though. Uh, I had a couple people concerned, wondering where they, where you be, and uh, I'm okay. I promise. <laughs> no, it was, I didn't get sick. I didn't get. Uh oh, am I gonna make it? Yeah, we got this. Woo! All right, we're home free. Let's go. All right, no, I didn't get sick. Didn't get injured. None of that. All right, it's been fishing season. Um, it's very, very specifically called fishing, not catching. <laughs> it was kind of a slow season. Um, around this time every year, I um, I have my my license and everything, and I go salmon fishing. Um, and oh man, there's some monster fish out there. It is so much fun. I've been meaning to take my camera with me and I have been taking my camera with me to show you guys what I've been catching you know but the problem is it only works if I actually catch something it's one of those little flavor texts you know what I mean um, but I haven't I I haven't <laughs> it's sad face sad that's okay though we'll be all right uh, so this season is over uh, you could probably imagine you know working a full-time shift and everything I get off work at about two o'clock in the morning because I'm a weirdo and uh, on on Thursday is my last day and I got my weekend and so I'm technically off Friday morning and then at six o'clock Friday morning or 6 30 we are at the river uh, with on the boat ready to go so you could probably understand when I get done with fishing I know I get home at, at like noon from fishing but I had been up since about noon the day before so sleepy time <laughs> it's been it's a schedule man and and the fall runs really short it's like a month a month and a half so uh, I don't I don't miss a day uh, I really would like to have more fish in the freezer <laughs> dude you cannot you cannot make this stuff you cannot compare store-bought salmon to fresh caught salmon my goodness this night and day difference no dyes included you don't even have to dye it orange to make it look good on a shelf <laughs> Uh, anyways that being said that that's all I've just been busy with that I haven't even had time to go to the gym so that's where I'm going right now because I really want to exercise it has been a while I have got a blanket on my stomach um, my six-pack has turned into a six-pack beer six-pack so I need to go back I need to work in reverse there um, that being said it is what it is things have been good life is good life is always good uh, just depends on whose eyes you're looking through right um, or which perspective I don't know whatever anyways I wanted to talk to you guys about something now I'm sure on time today uh, I'm trying to get my schedule all back together I've got about an hour and a half I believe until it's time to be clocked in at work and I want to go exercise first and then I have to run home and do things because it's just a busy day and then the rest of my day is just at work gotta love it one of these days I won't have to do that anymore and that's gonna be a blessing I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to that I'm looking forward to being able to have the free time out here just you know as this is just what I do um, but I wanted to talk about something and the title of this video is going to be when you're in the dark now i don't want this to be a dark uh dark video obviously but the reason i want to talk about this is because while i've been fishing i've been missing out on making videos missing out on you guys and missing out on uh the gym and most of my just normal daily routine that i've carefully crafted to keep me in a positive and productive mindset um, and so when when things in life get in the way of those those things uh, We tend to go down a little slippy slide. You know what I mean? I'm not not in any any bad spot, you know 
health is good mental health is good obviously things are all right but i want to talk about some things for those who experience that because i i talk about on this channel all the time about being active and chasing after your dreams right and part of that part of that environment is the slippy slopes it happens i talk about this all the time and i'm going to continue to talk about this all the time because it's important if you just keep chasing after the highs and you're not preparing or made aware of the lows then they will come as a surprise and you won't be prepared for it and it can be destructive towards your like your mental health and your progress so one thing i want to throw out there that i have learned myself uh, just through the experience and stuff um, i used to be one of the people that when i was in a, in a in a low space or whatever again this is not supposed to be a dark video um uh, that i would reach out for help you know reach out to others for help and stuff like that and there is nothing wrong with having a helping hand in fact it can add a lot of comfort in that in that situation but let's just throw this for the sake of the youtube video we'll throw this into a caving metaphor so you're in a cave and it's dark and you can't see nothing and it's cold and it's dark and you're and you're lonely or whatever it is right if somebody else comes with a light and sits there with you it's comfortable you know and, but you start to lose sense of hey i'm in a dark spooky cave you know what i mean you you lose that um awareness of it when somebody else brings the light and eventually that person can't sit there with a light because they're gonna get hungry they gotta go eat they got they got family you know mouths to feed you know family to take care of they gotta go they got things to do they got a life to live so if they leave and you're in a state of i'm comfortable you're just gonna stay right there you're not gonna leave you know you might for everybody it's different but for a lot of us we we stop becoming aware of the situation when somebody else is shining a light on it when somebody else is shining that light to give you the comfort and kind of help you go now the comfort is huge because in that state you have the mind to think about what you need to do you know and and that's important but what i want to say that's the most important thing that you can do is you need to create your own light you need to create your own light that you carry with you so that you're never stuck in a deep dark little scary cave you know what i mean this is important uh, now there's an issue though most lights that people reach out for are just little candle flames for example motivation you know in the moment motivation is huge you set a goal and you're motivated to, to finish it that's a huge 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 help because it does give you that light it gives you that sense of, of direction you know which way you need to go things like that motivation um inspiration your goals um just any of these things and then especially temporary um uh, what, what do they call them dopamine hits things that are temporary things you know people drink people you know do other things you know they find themselves like a, a vid, like i used to find video games and i lose myself in the video games and stuff and that was like a little candlelight in that in that state you get that candlelight but again it's dangerous because when you get that light sometimes you get comfortable thinking that you're not there's nothing you're you're fine you're you're whatever you know but what i'm getting at is those little candle lights as soon as there is one little whew, of air they blow out one little life happening and life happens all the time life is meant to happen that's its job one little poof of air and it gets blown out so something in life happens and it and it distracts you from for a little while or you don't get the results you're looking for 
and these little tiny things that that happens in life all the time uh, will blow out that candle because they're just little candles like they are very very great tools for getting started and getting your mind in the great in the right place listening to a motivational video i'm sure a lot of us have done this i've done this i used to live on these things for a while you get those motivational videos you get like tony robbins and you get like all these you know like really strong speakers and they lift your spirits and you feel great and you lift you listen to them and it gives you a sense of direction um but and and it's in the moment it is the best thing ever it's great but even if you chase after those those ideas that you get in that moment as soon as something happens whew, it blows the candle out and you're like oh no now i'm stuck in a different place i'm not familiar with this place i was familiar with the last place i wish i could be back there you know what i mean but you're, you get stuck in the new place you're not familiar with this new place and so it's it becomes more difficult and it becomes scary and a lot of people will think what's the point if it just gets blown out why light a candle when you're in a deep spooky cave when you're gonna get like a sense of hope and then a little gust of wind comes and whoosh, blows out the candle and all of a sudden you're lost in a completely unknown place and you don't know how to get out from that one because it's different. You know what I mean? Are you catching what I'm putting down there? Are you picking it up? So what I want to say, this is my theory about going, um, uh, chasing after and defeating the deep, dark, spooky cave. You need to build a lantern. So, th and, and the candles remain the same but you need to build something that guards the candle. How do you do that? The only way that I have found to do something like that is action, through action, and through consistency. My lantern has been the gym, which is why I tell you that when I haven't gone to the gym for a long time, uh, it started to hit me, you know, and that's why I want to talk about this. I've recognized that the lantern has be uh, the gym has become my lantern. I built this lantern through consistency, and as long it seems like as long as I'm keeping, keep, you know, doing all the maintenance and stuff that I need on that lantern, the candles don't blow out regardless of how strong the wind is. You know what I mean? It's huge. It is huge. It's life changing. It is amazing. So finding something that you can do consistency, consistently, excuse me, makes you feel good. Um, not in a, not in a, in a like a physical way. I mean, in a spiritual way, because like physical feeling good is usually called a crutch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not talking about doing things consistently that are just, you know, like, you know, drinking and things like that. That's not good. No, we don't condone that here. I'm talking about finding something, you know, that, that just, uh, that just work. I don't know. Oh, excuse me for my snivels. So I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to have to end here pretty soon. But what I'm saying is what you need to do is build your lantern. And then when you find those little candles, those motivations of things, and you've got that foundation, that lantern built to protect that candle, then no matter what happens, the candle will not get blown out. The only way it'll get blown out is if you accidentally drop your lantern. For example, I haven't been to the gym in like a couple months, it seems. Ever since like I got my injury, my, mo my consistency dropped. I dropped my lantern. And then when something came and took me off my path, it blew out the candle. You hear what I mean? You get what I'm putting down there? All right. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you guys understand that. I got to get going because I want to exercise and I just got a little bit of time left. But I do appreciate you guys being here, as always. Thank you. Thanks for uh, sticking around and the, all the positive, cool, awesome motivations and comments and stuff that I've seen while I've been gone. Um, yeah, you guys are awesome.
I really got nothing else to say. So hopefully, hopefully that was something that gives you something to think about. Um, I really want, obviously, I really want to see everybody who's here. That's the whole point of this channel. I just want to see people um, winning. You know what I mean? I want to see others winning because that makes me feel like I'm winning. So that's it. Anyways, hope you all have a wonderful day. Peace.